Hey everybody, Travis here, and welcome back to another video where today I'm playing in Forza Horizon 4. And I want to show y'all something. Uh, one of the features in this game, and again, I apologize for not uploading frequently, is Super Wheel Spins. And one of the rarest cars here is the Cadillac Limo, which I got here in this Super Wheel Spin. And I would like to demonstrate, um, or just kind of show anyway, what the car is capable of and, um, you know, what it can do. And this is actually footage from earlier, but I'm going to show you in just a second what that car is capable of. Because I've looked online, and there is actually no footage that I can find that has the Cadillac limo in it. Which is pretty surprising, with the exception of stuff from uh, the regular Forza games. But here in Forza Horizon 4, if I'm correct, this may be one of the first videos of the Cadillac limo on YouTube. So I'm going to be back, and I'll show you what that's capable of. Hey everybody, I'm back, um, kind of talking about this in the perspective of the winter season, and, uh, whenever we go here into the garage, uh, just kind of show you what, uh, this car is made of, I'm gonna, um, uh, go to the upgrade section, but, um, something to note about this car, first of all, here's what it looks like, there's the speed and everything, 6.8, I didn't make it extremely fast, and again, I still have a lot of upgrades to do for it, um, since it is, a, um, you know, it is optional. I didn't turn on the auto upgrade. Has some weight to it. Again, I could have more because the original, uh, presidential limo had a lot of weight to it and the current one still does. Um, I've done a lot here with the, um, manual upgrades and stuff like that. And if I... Here's oh, handling, platform tuning, that kind of thing. Okay then, thank you for telling me that, Alex, because I totally needed to hear that. Um, but yeah, this is what the car looks like, and I'll be sure to upgrade that later. There's my cat over there on the left, that's my gamer picture. It has a, this game has a tendency to show a lot about the gamer picture of the player, um, using this stuff. So if I go over to, uh, the vinyl, uh, stuff, you'll see that there is actually an option. If you type in for whenever looking for the, um, looking for the decals and stuff, there will actually be a presidential seal that you can use. And I'll put it on all, all three sides here. I don't know if there's an actual one on the back. I don't think there is. But, you know, it's just good. It, it makes it look nicer. And I figured, you know, if I ever did this, I'm going to try and make a presidential limo out of it. And sure enough, it looks really beautiful. And they got some nice music scores here in uh, Timeless FM. But for the purpose of this, we're probably just going to have the radio off. And um, it's nice, but, you know. Anyway, so in terms of the car itself, it has a nice smooth drive to it. It's a little slow, but as you can see, whenever we're in the dark the lights on the sides will come on, and that's that's pretty neat. Not like the actual presidential limo, I don't think. Um, a little bit of a different body shape than the actual one. If you look to the sides here, you can actually see something interesting about the advertisement here. Advertising the uh, Horizon DJs, certain parts, and look how big the festival is. I mean, this is just crazy. A lot, a lot, a lot more different than the other one. So let's turn around here and uh, head over to the drag strip. And yes, there is a drag strip built within the festival. I got the Ultimate Edition, which means I was able to play last night at 11, which is the official release time. Um, it's supposed to be released today, but the Microsoft Store released an hour early for the Eastern Coast, so it'd be midnight for them. But uh, driving right over here, and again, you, you just saw the lights come on, and this is another new perspective that they added within the game. So I'm just going to take off without the lights, because this isn't really... Um, this isn't really necessary for me to wait for that. But if you look, it has a pretty smooth handling to it. Uh, takes off 78, 80 miles an hour. I haven't actually tested the full speed of this thing, but right now we got almost 100 there, which is pretty good for a car of this weight. But it goes to show you, you know? I mean, whenever you get a car, and this was classified under the rare category in the garage, which I thought was pretty cool. And again, I haven't seen any footage like this, but yeah, this is just kind of the the driving of it and you listen to it it's pretty nice but anyway i hope you get this car uh, ultimate user or not but thank you for watching this video and i'll see y'all next time bye everybody